What's up guys, Marcus Vols back with another tutorial today. And today I'm going to teach you how to flip loops in FL Studio. Um, there was another request for a sound selection tutorial. Don't worry, that's on the way. And I thought this was faster to get out, so I was gonna, and I did this first. First of all, I'm going to just go into some of the loops I have. And I'm going to probably choose a random loop. Um, I like Nick Amira's loop, so I'm going to probably go in one of his kits and choose something random. Let's see. Just gonna start choosing stuff randomly to flip. Okay. Okay, I'll probably just use this. It's still at 16. Let me stretch all the channel. Uh, first thing you can do is essentially just go to chop in this little wave area right here. Chop. Go to medium sharp. I go medium and you get all the chops for the beat. Not all the chops, but like this is like most of the main chops. That's one way you can flip loops, honestly. Um, another way you could probably just do it manually. I uh, probably hear something. You should probably just loop certain parts of the loop. Oh, that was hard. I don't, I don't know how I just did that, but that was just magic. Let me see if I can appreciate it. Oh. See, that could work right there. A little stutter effect, a little. Let's see. So that could work too. Yeah. Uh, uh, Easy way to flip. Yeah. Easy. Another thing you can do is essentially put effects on it. So the first effect I'm going to go over is this, uh, unstable. Stable is basically a plugin that detunes everything. Self-explanatory. If you know what detune is, like basically slightly. Dang, I don't want to sound redundant, but slightly detunes the sound to not sound at the same pitch as it was originally from before. Um, Q Beats also uses this to make their sound a little sound different. Uh, who else uses this? Lewis Bell. A lot of producers use this plugin to make their sound sound different and detune. That's why you're trying to figure out. How to get these sounds to sound like that? Probably using unstable. So here I'll call the sound with the loop. I mean, turn it on the insane mode. It sounds crazy because it's all of this insane. If I turn it down, so now this is in detune mode. You could change the wobble and the drift and the level of it. This is a level of the buzz and a level of the wobble and a level of these knobs. Excuse me. So another plugin you can go over um, is damn, which I'll show you. Um, you can also put go speed on it. What I'll probably do is put it on like a half beat kit and turn on the volume. And you can cheat this with other plugins. Another plugin I like to use is definitely glitch two. Probably, I just probably, this hypothetical, but like probably, I just probably put a uh, tape stop in the middle of the beat, like. Mm. 
another plugin you can actually use is Decimal Two, which is like a bit crusher to the, you know, detune not detune the sound, but reduce the quality of the sound. This is the quality of sample to sound more dated. But like if you do it do a little bit too much, it's gonna sound crazy. I mean this stuff you have to mess around with it. And actually get it to the type of sound you want to sound to. Another plugin I suggest you also look at is the impact I remember right now is uh well we skip the one we're doing now but you actually could also go to waves and use the camera tape stereo to add like a little tape hiss to make it sound like it's a like a retro field a lot of people are doing like this kind of vintage sound so like this is one of the ways you get it and you put on put up your denoise level hear the white noise so you can hear it and you hear the feedback put up the feedback so you can hear it Oh yeah, the next one I was gonna talk about is Isotope Final free plugin from Isotope. And essentially this is like what Travis Scott, that little pitch bend kind of noise a lot of people you can hear in a lot of these beats nowadays. This is one of the plugins they use, basically the warp def and just put up the percentage. Let me turn off the unstable so you can hear it in the full effect. You hear like a pitch of bending slightly, but it's hundred percent. You put a mechanical noise on it, but not too much. It's gonna sound crazy. You put a lot of other electrical noise on it, like a little wear to it. It's just a warp model. Yeah, essentially, you just do what I see. I was you can hear a little uh, mechanical noise and electrical noise. Like more old school, more dated if you want to. That's all. What else we can use? Um, you can put a fully chorus, flanger, like whatever comes to mind on how like, to get the sound that you want. That you can do a lot of things with loops. You just gotta have the mindset. You just wanna flip it. Just use this degrader plugin. Also, just degrade. Do that also. Another another thing to do. You can also do like this. Open Edison Audio Editor. Edison, uh, open a loop in the Edison <laughs> Edison editor um, and you can go to I think the properties and you could literally where is it turn the sample rate down to a lower sample rate and basically this is what Drake's one of Drake's producers slash engineer Noah should be aka 40 does turn down the sample rate of samples he has so this is 32 thousand hertz a sample it's gonna sound slower and more older so this how it's gonna sound so let me see you can you can experiment with this and try how anyway um let me see if we can not even 440 let's try like 400 430 43,000 hertz, right? Compared to the original, like, which is right here, is, there's a little bit of detune to it. It's like you like pitch down slightly, but it's not enough. If you don't have those plugins, that we could essentially do if you have Edison, which is a great, great thing to do. Uh, 
Okay, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so where are we? Okay, so basically, yeah, you could do the thing with Norwich Beam and like do, do the detune. Basically, just change the sample rate. Drag it in. Basically, it's the same thing, but it's like slightly detune. And then you gotta just time switch it back. And the last thing, but last thing I'm gonna just do is just hit the reverse button. Everybody should know. See, this thing already sounds lit already. Like, I'm. <laughs> nah, this sounds kinda hard. I'm about to put some drum on these. Essentially, how you flip a loop. Honestly, you started with like, I just started with this right here. And then when we got to where we put all the effects on it, we actually did a lot of stuff to it. We got to like here, the same loop but it's detuned. But you can take it a little bit further. It already sounds different because you detuned it. But if you put all these other like effects like effects on it it's gonna sound different regardless yeah it's on see if you put like some reverb on this too and then just make it sound This is unlimited possibilities you can do with this thing. So, anyway, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, follow us on Instagram, adk underscore music. Follow me at Marcus on Instagram at Marcus Volts, and please like, comment, subscribe. Also, please comment any other tutorials you want to see. All requests are greatly appreciated. And that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.